This video will introduce you to Schoology, our new learning management system. For the past couple of years, we have been phasing in Schoology. It is currently used by our Amtrak programs at our Coastal and Classical Academy Middle School campuses. This past year, C-Track students in grades 7 and 8 began using Schoology. In addition, our online programs use it, as well as a group of teachers who've piloted Schoology in a variety of classrooms ranging from kindergarten to 12th grade. Worldwide, Schoology is used by 12 million people in all 50 states and over 130 countries. Schoology is an online learning and classroom management platform that improves learning through better communication, collaboration, and increased access to curriculums and supplemental content. The wiki, which has held our content for many years, is not a learning management system, so it has limited functionality. We search for an LMS that would allow curriculum writers and teachers to build course content, allow teachers and parent educators to teach, allow students to participate in individual and group learning experience, experiences, encourage learning both in the classroom at school and at home. We wanted easy integration of all types of materials, including print books, ebooks, and online materials. And the LMS needed to be available on all devices, including computers, tablets, and smartphones. Of the many LMSs that were considered, Schoology met our needs, is user-friendly, and offers excellent technical support for all users. Here we are logged in to Schoology as a parent, Gwen Finch. Mrs. Finch has three children, Atticus, Scout, and Jen. When she logs in, she can see all her children listed here, regardless of the campus in which they are enrolled. The home page is a composite of information that pertains to all her children. In the student activity area, she sees current updates from the teachers of her children. In this column, she sees upcoming assignments and events for all her children. In the left navigation bar, she can view a composite calendar that merges the assignments and events for all her children. When she chooses one of her children, now the content displayed relates only to that child. Atticus is an eighth grader, so he is enrolled in four classes. Recent activity includes updates from Atticus's teachers along with some student posts. Notice that student posts are labeled anonymous. If Atticus posted an update, Mrs. Finch would see his name listed, but all other student posts are labeled anonymous. When parents are logged in, they see only the names of their own children. In the upper right area, Mrs. Finch can quickly view um, recently graded assignments, tests, and discussions. Below that is an overdue fee. Poor Atticus has quite a few overdue assignments. Below that is the upcoming feed for Atticus, things that are um, coming up in the next week or so. Now let's switch to Scout, a sixth grader. She is enrolled in only one course, her Track A sixth grade course. Inside this one course, she'll find the content for all her subjects. Scout could be enrolled in other courses or groups like band or yearbook. They would appear in her course or group listing here. Let's look inside a course. For A and B Track students, Schoology courses will look something like this. These courses are being built currently as we transfer content from the wiki and as teachers learn to use Schoology, so things may evolve a little by the time you see your courses in August. You can access lessons from this materials page or from the, the uh, course calendar. So let's go over there. Click on um, a lesson to get a little pop-up uh, preview window and then click on view item. Click on the title to open it completely and you can scroll through the lesson. And you can also use the next and previous buttons to move through the lessons. So I can go here to lesson three. And on to lesson four, or actually this is uh, the Lit Mini lesson. So again, you can access the lessons 
here in the course view, like this, or through the calendar view, whichever is more convenient for you. Mrs. Finch's third child is a gem, a third grader who is on C track. So let's switch over to his account. And when we click on his courses link, he, we see that he's enrolled in the C-Track third grade um, course where he'll receive his um, curricular content, the lessons that he needs to do at home each day. He's also enrolled in a couple of selectives classes. Selective teachers will post updates each week in these courses to keep families informed of class activities and assignments. C-Track families will also be enrolled in a family course with their C-Track teacher. In this case, the parent is the member of the course. To view this course, Mrs. Finch needs to switch from viewing her children's Schoology content to viewing her own. And she does that by clicking on this arrow next to the name here and clicking on her own name. Now the content displayed um, on the Schoology page relates to Mrs. Finch herself. You can see there's little activity now, but there will be as the school year begins. When she clicks on courses, she now sees her uh, family course that her ES has created for her. And when she opens that, she sees um, content information related to her involvement in C-Track. C-Track teachers will use this course to provide important information to their C-Track families. Notifications are an important feature of Schoology. They allow you to receive just the right amount of information from your school. You can set your preferences for your entire Schoology account um, in the notifications page of your account area. So you can set um, your notifications here for email. And if you've downloaded the Schoology app, to your mobile device, your smartphone or tablet, you'll have a second column here where you can choose the notifications that you prefer to receive via push notification. Um, and you could also even select text messaging notifications. If you find that you are um, receiving too many notifications, you may want to come back to this area and change your settings here. Alternately, if you find you're missing important information, you may want to check uh, to turn on some additional notifications. You can also set your notifications course by course or group by group by clicking on this notifications button here. So here I can make my choices specifically for this one course and then again save changes here. The Parent Email Digest is a favorite among parents. You can choose to have Schoology email um, you a summary of your child's recent activity in Schoology. So make sure you have a ch the right child's name selected here and then click on notifications. Make sure the email summary is turned on, select weekly or daily, and then the date and time you want to receive that. This will include your students' recent posts, assignments, grades, and other activities. This uh, bottom part here, overdue submissions email, I recommend that you turn that off. Because our students are still submitting much, much of their work in a hard copy format, this is not a real helpful um, setting for us. Another remarkable feature of Schoology is the calendar. We will add events that, like holidays, that apply to all our schools. In addition, each campus will be able to add events that are specific to that school. You will then be able to see all of these events collected on your home calendar. Hovering over an event will display the school to which that event belongs. You can see that this event is a Coastal Academy event, while this event applies to all of our campuses. Click on the event one time to get a preview, and then click on the View Item button to open the event completely. The Schoology calendar allows many details to be added including documents and even video. So you'll be able to return to any calendar event and be reminded of all the details. We look forward to improved communication and dissemination of curriculum with the implementation of Schoology.